One of the most frequent questions I get on any social media platform is how I started slapping people. And the secondary question is, why the fuck do you slap people? I get a lot of hate on uh, TikTok and any other social media platforms. Not a ton on like Instagram and stuff like that, but there's always gonna be trolls and like, this is so stupid, what's the use? So I decided I'd make a video on basically a story time on how I actually got into slapping people and then what are the benefits or why um, I think it helps athletes do what, whatever they're trying to do on the platform or in the weight room, right? So, um, so I'll just start with how I started uh, slapping people. So back before Instagram was like a thing or, or I was like on strength cartel or I was doing the YouTube stuff. Um, I used to have this group of guys, right? And, and some of them that a lot of people know about like Gino, uh, Bruce and some other cats that, that, um, since then I've stopped working out with, but we had this like f a group of five guys, five or six guys. And then like, like I said, this is before Instagram, before social media, but I used to lead this group and it would get super emotional. Like, I don't know if uh, whoever's watching, if you guys ever played football or like sports like that, but then there's always these times that, uh, and usually it's around times like of adversity that everybody starts getting hyped up, right? Before a big game or say something, just someone just did something that maybe everyone didn't think that they were able to do or capable of doing. And then it just brought a different energy. We brought that energy every single day to the weight room. Right, so like I would come in every single day, and I would I'd be on my guy's ass, and be like, uh, like, stop taking things for granted, stop going through the motions, and I would just start getting them hyped up from the beginning, right? So that we're just starting to hit like heavy weights. We did this for like almost three or four years, and this is where I kind of attribute where I got the biggest amount of gains of like for strength, size, um, everything that I did fitness wise. I, I attribute to this group of guys that I had, right? So, and this is back when Bruce um, wasn't as strong as everybody else. And he didn't, he didn't um, necessarily have the confidence in himself to do all the things that he's done or, or that he's doing right now. So he used to cry a lot. And I, I always say this about him and it's cause I think it's so uh, admirable how, how he's built himself over the years because I put a lot of work in on him trying to get him to hone in on the, that little special thing he had emotionally. So that's where this is all started. That's where I started slapping people was from Bruce. And we wouldn't record any of this stuff. It was just basically just like backyard, nitty gritty type of lifting. And that's what I fuck with. I love that shit. Um, now social media has made it all fluffy and and you just see a lot of fakeness and fake juice. Like So we called it fake juice. Like guys that just rah-rah, just a rah-rah. They weren't really about that life, right? So, but back when we used to lift, I used to get in Bruce's face. Like, and I'll show a clip of it too. I used to just really get up in his face and like, and say things that I knew would that would get him like to that level, right? Like, what well, say something about his grandparents or something that uh, I knew emotionally he was tied to. Like, so during one of those times too, he had just, um, him and his wife, she had just gotten pregnant and I would say little things like, you know, what would your, th what would your son think of you? Or if, if your son was right here, what would you do? Like, would you bitch out? Like, would you, would you fold up? Like, like you have in the past? I would say things like that to get him riled up and that usually came with like a little headbutt, a little face slap, and then he would he would always do this motion that when it was time to rock and roll, he would just turn to me and just point to his back like that. So that's when I started, bow, I started hitting him like that. Come on, Bruce! All right, Bruce finishing off. It's off here at 705. Let's go, Bruce! Let's fucking go, Bruce! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Say it. And then someone recorded it one time at a meet. And I think I had just got on a strength cartel or like whatever. Um, so I didn't have a huge following, but this video went completely viral. It went like 500,000 views, like something crazy. Just that initiation like to, for everyone to see that I was slapping fuckers. And, and I don't slap them like soft. You know what I mean? I put you know, my weight behind my slaps. Um, but that's where it first started at. And then once people saw that, 
then I had clients asking me to do it. And I had like over a hundred online clients. So I'd go travel to all these, uh, these like powerlifting meets. And then they would just, Hey, can you slap me for my last attempt? All right, bet. Uh, someone record this, bow, bow, slap them. Then that went viral. And then they just kept going viral and kept going, kept going viral. And then I started doing fitness expos. <laughs> and then guys would sit in line for three to four hours and they would come to the front and be like, hey, can you slap me? And it started happening like maybe five or six times an expo. And I did a ton of expos. And I'm talking about like the Arnold, the Olympia, LA Fit Expo, San Diego Fit Expo. We didn't do one expo that nobody came up and asked me to slap them. And so it was like the spectacle, right? Um, people would stand in line and then they'd come to the front and they're not even lifting, they just want to take a slap, right? Um, so I just slap them, bow, bow. And then someone recorded it and then that would go viral. And then TikTok came out and then, then I just posted those videos to TikTok and then I think I ended up getting over like 20 million views on TikTok uh, for slapping people. And then that's when the trolls came in. <laughs> so they would come in and be like, this is fucking stupid, this is useless, you're a fucking idiot, you're gonna hurt them. You're gonna fucking sever their spine, like just ridiculous things, right? Um, so I'm now gonna go into the science behind it. So why do I slap people? What what does it do, right? It's not just for me to beat the shit out of people or whatever. This is kind of like one of those things that back in high school football, college football, we did, but we never had the uh, maybe the science behind it or like the reasoning behind it in our minds. But we just knew that it, it amps you up, right? But then when I went into college. I started kind of studying the central nervous system and the adrenaline and when you go into fight or flight because that's something that that's something huge that we learn when we learn about the, the energy systems in the body. And then so then we realized that sharp, sharp bits of pain can cause one person to be thrown into fight or flight. So it, it could be something simple like a pinch, like a hard pinch that will actually throw you into fight or flight if you don't know where it's coming from and then now your adrenaline's up. Now you have a faster heart rate and now you're actually not gonna be able to feel pain at a rate that you would if you were just calm. So that the slap is supposed to throw you into into your central nervous system fight or flight and then that increases adrenaline. Adrenaline is scientifically known to increase strength, stamina and decrease the, uh, the feeling of pain. So that's literally the reason why we started doing that and I just knew the science behind it but then that's something that's been around for 20, 30 years. Um, but we just kind of adapted it. And then social media kept pushing it. And then because everybody likes viral content, they like to see things that uh, is out of the ordinary, that's abstract. Me just spitting in my hand and slapping the fuck out of people, it's abstract. It's abnormal. It's like going to the circus just to see a lion with six legs type shit, right? So that's where that, that whole slapping came from. Now, why I spit in my hand, that's a whole nother ball game, right? Uh oh, uh oh. So people are like, that's so fucking disgusting. You're the reason why COVID happened. Um, you're spreading COVID. Look at you. You're giving them herpes, whatever. I've, I've read like the most outrageous comments when it comes to why people think I'm slapping or how disgusting it is. And I laugh and I like to comment back just to get the trolls riled up. Um, so if you've ever commented and I was like, and what fuck you whatever i'm just messing around it's just uh, it's all fun and games to me i just like to rob people up i've been doing this for a long time there's not one thing a troll can say to me that will actually shake me off my rocker um but the reason why i spit in my hand so it's disgusting and then i could do it with water but it the, it loses its its art form if that makes sense like it's not as theatrical and I know it's disgusting sometimes, but it's like a, uh, it's a show. You're putting on a show for people too, not only for the lifter that's lifting, but the people that are watching. It's always gonna be a show. You're an entertainer at the end of the day, right? So I actually spit on my hand because it actually creates a snapping sound. If you slap someone with a dry hand on a dry back, it's gonna make a slap, but it's not gonna snap. So I learned over the years, as I kept slapping people and slapping people, the people who were sweatiest and the people that I could slap skin on skin contact with, so I pull their shirt down and slap them, I noticed that that brought, you know, X amount more noise than, than if I were to slap them regularly. And then that, I noticed, amped the athlete up a lot more because when they hear that snap, in their mind, it hurt a lot more, or the sound hurt a lot more than it would actually felt like, I'm guessing. So then that's what usually got them riled up. And then, then the crowd gets into it, and now it's a spectacle. And now the crowd gets into a lift for somebody that they probably weren't gonna cheer for, honestly, because sometimes they're not world record lifts and, and whatever, but you wanna get the crowd involved because that is an external factor 
that can drive someone to hit a PR or hit something that they've never hit ever in competition just purely off the adrenaline. Um, so that's the main cause or the main reason why I slap people is because it, it throws you into the fight or flight and that aids in more adrenaline and now you don't feel as much pain. So that now when I'm walking up, say a, a deadlift or a squat, now I'm not really feeling the pain of the lift or whatever. My adrenaline is going so hard that it's effortless almost for you at that point. It's almost the same concept as when a mother sees her baby trapped under a van. Now she, she has enough strength to pick up that van to pull the baby out. It's just that strength that comes in when you're in that fight or flight. It's almost inhuman. And if you know how to use it correctly, like it can be a superpower. So that's the reason why I do it.